We got a table full of guns in there. A what? We got a table full of guns in there. What the what? Los, we got a table full of guns in this bitch. Big guns. That ain't bullshit, man. Nigga, this boy. He got a hell of a stop. This here's a Glock. It go pop. Pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, this is a transformer here. Like this, this bitch. Yeah, and then you hit this little back button and fold it back down. Like, yeah. That's crazy, huh? That's simple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's all legal. All clear. It's all yeah, legal. Insane. You know what I mean? It's all not, legal. We ain't flashing nobody. We're going to make sure everything right. Exactly. Man. And uh, just know that all of these weapons will be handled by trained professionals, veterans even. Um, and illegal. All legal. All legal. All legal. And all, all up the code, nothing is loaded, nothing is dangerous. We got a, 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 a true professional here with us today. Don't sleep on me, baby. Uh, shit, it wouldn't be a black market without some uh, some grown man shit in there. Exactly. And this is definitely Don't get no that grown segment. Man in that. <laughs> and uh, you know, we could have went and found somebody safe. <laughs> We could have went and found somebody who would have just brought us some props. But that ain't black enough for us. Nah. Not on the black market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bro, we had to go deep down south. Louisiana. I'm talking swamp. I'm talking the swamp. I'm talking about with that loud mud. We just got to throw your shoes away if you step in. You got to have the cage and Reeboks on. You don't even know what that is, I bet you. Don't know what that is. Man, I'm from Mississippi. You know, we right off in there with y'all. You feel me? I don't know what it is. But we had to go all the way to Homer, bruh, and find Black Rambo. Black Rambo in the middle the water. Yeah, we didn't even know you was down there fucking with us like this. Oh man, you know it, man. My boy right here, my boy. Yeah, I'm on it every Friday. Oh man, like look, bro. You gotta watch this, get on this, do this. So he put me on. I've been watching y'all for about a year now. Oh man, that's what's up. I'm gonna do it. This this podcast, this podcast is for everybody that watched us. They'll be like, man, if I can just get on that sofa. It's real. It's real for all y'all. It's real. This is this is this is. I don't know if you understand how epic this is for a black man, man. I know, bro. It's crazy. Like, my life is. There's so many brothers who are sitting down forever, whether it be in the grave or in the jail, from not understanding these things that you got sitting on this table right here. So black Rambo. Be a black man that have all of these guns that are yours that you. Ain't stole from nobody. You ain't. It's, this wrong. is this is Black history for real, right real here, man. Right. How did we get here, Black Rambo? So how did we get here, Black Rambo? It's a it's a story. Now you want? Yeah, we want the story. From, from, the story. from Black Rambo, all right? Well, I was a rapper at first. I believe. So it. I was in no no. Matter of fact, we could go further back than that. I was in the Marines. So I, I can believe war. that too. I went to war and everything. Which one? All right, second. Uh, I was the second tank battalion. I was on the Opera uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom. Okay. Yeah, I was out there head first with the tanks. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah this is a tattoo. baby. USMC. Okay. A lot of people, but you know me, man, a lot of people don't believe me, dog. Like when I say that on Instagram, they discredit me, man, say stolen valor, this and this, and they give me a hard time about that. But anyway, we ain't worried about them. I, I love haters. I love oh, haters. Shit. I bet you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so look, all right, I was in the Marines, bam, went to war, got out the war and stuff like that, started working with my daddy. It was kind of like, all right, man, I want to do something, you know. I ain't got nothing to do, blah, 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 blah. So I'm rapping. So my cousins, all my homeboys, like, man, you good. Be a rapper, man, blah, blah, blah. So somebody broke in my house, and they stole, I used to a cool G, bro. They stole all my clothes, my shoes, some guns, everything. So I got mad, made a song. I'm talking about, ah, man, I beat you up, man. And everybody started liking it. So I'm like, damn, they like the hype. You know what I'm saying? They like the hype. 
So I got post-traumatic stress from war. So the hype, that's me letting go, you know what I'm saying? So after that, you know what I'm saying, I found out about the hype, I'm getting big, black man, you know, trouble man, trouble man. I'm following Gates. See, Gates was doing shows. And so I'm thinking like, how can I get popular? So Gates wasn't that popular. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna just pay to get in this show. Okay, Gates in this show, I'm gonna pay to get in this show. Pay, they watching him, so they gonna see me. I'm right, they got to see me if they watching him. So I'm paying to get in shows, I'm paying to get in shows. I'm paying for uh, videos. So when you, people don't understand this, when you get bigger, okay, videos used to be 50 bucks. Okay, I got a little more follower videos, 150 bucks. Next thing you know, video 500 bucks. And it's like, man. I'm paying all this by myself, you know what I mean? Like, damn. See, see, not to cut y'all, but you gotta let them know how you be, how you used to perform, you hear me? Oh, man, I, I used to, bro, I used to be stage. diving in stage, cracking skateboards over my head. Bro, yeah, I used to, it's crazy, cause I used to, I'm gonna knock myself out one time. That's why I stopped doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Messing around with him. So I used to cut him. He came to my house one day, he used to work on the garbage truck. He came to my house with a skateboard, cause I used to skateboard. Drive, yeah, he was the driver, drive. but I used to skateboard, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, he come give me the skateboard and shit. So I'm like, man, what the hell am I doing with this ragged ass skateboard, man? I got all these brand new skateboards on the wall. You bring me one out of the garbage truck? I said, man, I crack it over my head. Damn. I said, yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I saw it, you know what I'm saying, with a little bit, put some stuff on it, going stay, ah, jump around, boom, boom, cracking them on my head. And it was just getting me popular and popular and popular, but I wasn't making no money. I was losing money. Like, man, I'm paying to get it all over, but I'm paying and paying. So I'm like, man, forget this. I'm done. So I got three degrees. I got a degree in HVAC, I got a degree in massage therapy, and I got a degree in electric. So I was so popular from rapping, everybody hit me up for air conditioning. So now I'm making bank with air conditioning. I'm like, man, this is what I'm doing. I ain't doing nothing else. I'm killing it. Air conditioning, thousand out of here, two thousand out of here. Man, it's easy, five thousand here. So I'm doing my little cleaning my guns one day. Now mind, I'm tired of rapping. I'm through with it, man. So my cousin challenged me to the little so going challenge. Y'all remember that? Yeah. The so going challenge. So. I'm cleaning the guns. I'm just ch -ch 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 -ch. Phone ring. I look at the phone. Man, I should talk about my gun. Now, every black person I know scared to show their guns. Back then, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, no, no, man. I'm like, bro, your gun's legal. What you scared of? What they can do? Arrest you? They already know what you got. You got to fill out a background check for every gun. So, boom. I said, man, blah, blah. man, five minutes. I put on everything. Blah, 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 blah. Just write something down. Boom. Went to sleep. Posted. Man, I woke up in the morning, I had like 30,000 followers. Yeah. My phone was going crazy, so I'm like, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so yeah I remember like, that video. So yeah. I'm like, is it the rap or is it the guns? So I'm like, I'm gonna be a rapper. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be a rapper. And the whole time I'm watching white people do the same thing I'm doing now on the internet, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't even worried about being there. I'm being a rapper, I'm gonna be a rapper. So I'm, uh, I'm looking at the, uh, what was that? I be losing my train of thought sometimes, man. Oh, well, you wherever you was wanted to be. <laughs> no, you was rapping about the guns and shit, yeah, so and then you then posted it and blew up. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, so I'm doing the soul going challenge, right? So bam, I'm like, all right, let me rap. We did a rap song on Instagram. It might get 30,000 views. So I did a gun song. I'm getting two, three hundred, four hundred thousand views. I'm like, whoa, okay. There gotta be something with the guns. So I left the rap alone. Started messing with guns. So. Guns expensive, man. People don't know how expensive they is, you know what I'm saying? So I'm around here buying guns, man, using other people's guns to make videos, doing all kinds of stuff just to keep up with content. So I'm like, man, I got like 100,000 followers. I got I to gotta figure out a way to do something. Now this was the key right here. This was, this was where Black Rambo came right here. I hit up this company right here. This company right here. I saw I had a white dude. He had less followers than me. And he posted, they, they signed him one or something, and he posted one of these. And I was like, man, I hit them people up. I was like, man, I could have did better than that, man. Send me one. Give me some little deal or something like that. So we ran a little deal. And so they ran the deal. Bam, I made the video. Went crazy, man. So they were like, yeah, man, we're going to send you this. See, I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? What the world? So I was like, all right. I need to go to the gun shows. I knew from watching all the uh, other people with guns, I know they got big gun shows, like called the SHOT Show and the NRA Show and all kinds of shows. So I'm like, well, I need to get to the SHOT Show. That's the biggest gun show in the United States. There ain't nothing bigger than that. People come from all over. So I'm like, I need to get there so I can make some videos. That's all I wanted to do, just make some videos. Bam, whoop the whoop, I ran, a, ran my mouth on Instagram. I ended up getting in there, right? So when I get in there, it's crazy. The first day, the feds uh, pulled me to the back. The first day. I'm talking about before I can even get in the building and sign up. Hell yeah. You know that team. asshole's been cracking on skateboards <laughs> over your head, don't you? You're not getting in here. <laughs> 
what's up? It's Carlos Miller. It's time to get off the couch and get back to work. If your tool needs an upgrade, head over to BlueChew.com. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. You can benefit from an extra boost of confidence when it's time to perform. Blue Chew can help. Blue Chew tablets are made in the USA and they prepare and ship direct so it's cheaper than a pharmacy. We've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use promo code BLACK at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code BLACK. To receive your first month free, visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. We thank Blue Chew for sponsoring this podcast. So the feds pulled it in the back, but to be honest with you, it wasn't even about me. It was about another dude with the company that I was with. So I was like, nah, I don't know this dude. Look, here, look. You want our text? Everything. I don't know this dude from night and day. So they're like, all right, you're good. So I get in the show. So I'm like the kid in the candy store. I'm like, whoa, yo, look at this, look at this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I was done for like four days. Just doing crazy stuff. So a black dude came up to me named Hoodneck, man. I got to shout him out because it went for him. I wouldn't have did this. He was like, hey, bro, you know you can uh, work deals with these companies and get some guns, right? I'm like, what you talking about? So me and him sat down and talked. So I had one day left. I was like, damn. Okay, I got to think of something to tell these people. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I got, man, eight, 9,000 boots up in there. And I got one day to hit all of them. So I started thinking about a pitch. How can I get these people attention? How can I get the attention? So I reach a whole different demographic than any other gun guy out there. All my followers are, are not the followers that the other people are. It's all straight urban hood people, you know what I'm saying? So I go up to them. I'm like, man, I'm full of energy. Me, I'm like, I'm hyper. I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, man, I got to make these people, you know, feel me. So I go up to him, man, what's happening with you? How you doing, man? How you doing? Oh, you know who I am? You know who I am? Yep, you don't know who I am, man. Ah, you got to know who I am right now, though. Look, I'm Black Rambo, man. You don't know who Black Rambo is? Oh, y'all, you don't know about me, y'all. You don't, you don't know about me either? Oh, I'm about to let y'all know right now. I got about 400,000 followers, man. I reach a whole different, look, look. I reach a whole different demographic than all the rest of them other people, you know what I'm saying? But look, I see how y'all looking at me. Look, I like straight talk. I'm from Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? You like straight talk? I like straight talk. Man, look, I want a gun. Y'all want promo? I want a gun. Y'all want promo? Right. And I did that to 8,000 boots. In one day? In one day. Walked by myself. I used my last dollar to get to Vegas. I used my last, I, bro, I had to eat McDonald's. I was walking from the uh, Vegas hotel to, you know what, uh, the, uh, y'all probably been to Venetian is? Yeah. Okay, you know what the Silver Sevens is? Yes. I was walking from the Silver Sevens to, to the, the Venetian. Venetian every day? Every day. Whoa. And back. Yeah, and so the last day, boom, I'm hitting up every booth. I'm getting cards. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? So I'm getting cards, I'm getting cards, I'm getting cards. So this company right here, F1 Firearms. I came in there, one of, uh, one of my friends named Sean, he picked me up in a Bentley. He came in with a Mohawk, and we looked different, you know what I'm saying? We're walking through that, he got a Mohawk. So I go up to the company, that was one of the last companies. I shoot the pitch. They're looking at me like crazy, so I walk away. But they own them super cool. So they come running me down. Hey, come back, the owner won't talk to you. So I get in there with the owner, we chopping it up. He was like, yeah, bro, let's make an Instagram video. And I'm new to all this, I don't, you know. I'm like, all right, cool. So we're making a video, he laughing, blah, blah, blah. Man, look, pick which gun you want, we're gonna work a deal. I'm like, what? He's like, yeah, just pick one, we're gonna work a deal out. So I'm like, shit, all right. Yeah, pick one out, man, we worked out a deal. So I got that gun. So I'm like, dang, you know what I'm saying? You know, each deal different. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard. You so, let them know what kind of gun that is. That's an F1 Firearms. That's a uh, Death Wish. That's a uh, 223. Mm. pistol. Woo. If you don't know what that means, it means the bullets <laughs> look like fish sticks. That's what that means. <laughs> so I get home. I get home, right? I got 8,000 cards. You call everybody. I email every single person. I believe this shit. I said outside, email them. I, I, man, I'm in the, on the toilet. Email them in the tub, email, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. I was doing it so much, I couldn't even keep track of the, the email. I was, I was sending the wrong names and stuff like that. And I just sit down and wait. I make one video and one thing come in. I make another video, they see it, they see it, they talking, they see it, they talking, they see it, they talking. Next thing you know, I say, oh man, it's cool. That's cool, man, I'm getting all kind of cool, you know, stuff. You know, it's all kind of easy stuff to get, but I ain't making no money. I'm broke, you know what I'm saying? 
I'm, I'm fronting, you know, I've got this, but I ain't, you know, maybe pay half price or something, but I'm broke. So I was always telling my cousin, I was like, look, man, I need to make some money. I got, I got to do something. I'm two years in the game. I done went to a couple gun shows, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people know me. I'm getting followers. I'm like, look, bro, I got to do something. I got to do something. So he was like, man, you can do anything. I was like, bro, you know what I want to do? I want to make this big old page where you can just go get all this gun stuff on, on the internet and do this and that. And he was like, man, that's too much. He was like, bro, you can do one thing and make you rich. He said, you got to, you can just do one thing. He was like, you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, you can make a bullet, you can do this, you can do that. And I said, I'm sitting, I'm sitting in the bathtub talking to my cousin, my first cousin. I'm in the bathtub. A bullet? Something like that. I went to all the gun shows for two years now. I ain't never seen no black people make no bullets. I ain't never in my life seen a black dude with his name on the back of a bullet. Hell nah, not for no good shit. Yeah, y'all ever yeah. seen it? Y'all ever no. seen it? Yeah, they say bullets so, ain't got no names, but apparently. So, so they got something now. So I'm like, I call my cousin up, I'm like, man, I think that's it. No, we're on the phone. I'm like, I think that's it. He's like, what? I said, a bullet. So he's like, bro, look, I'm going to tell you something. If you're going to do it, there's one thing he told me, bro. And if you're in business, bro, this is real, 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 real stuff. He said, if you're going to do it, don't half-ass it. Do it right. He said, because you got all kind of eyes on you. They're going to give you all kind of hate, any little thing. So he said, do it right. So I took a year and learned about bullets. I started hitting people up that I knew that work at gun stores, work at bullet stores, making bullets. I started learning, you gotta have this license to do this, you gotta do this to do this, you gotta do this to do this. So I'm like, man, it's a lot to make a bullet, you know what I'm saying? And to, uh, I wanted to, I had some companies sending me ammo for free, for promo. So I wanted them to make the bullets for me and give me a cut. I'm like, hey, you know, don't do this, we've been doing this for about a year. Nah, we busy right now. I don't say no names. I say, hey, do this one. Nah, we busy right now, man. We got this going with the military. We can It's all good, though. It's all good. And so, Nipsey Hussle died. Rest in peace, Nipsey Hussle. I ain't never listened to Nipsey Hussle music in my life. I sworn everything. I go on the internet. Nipsey Hussle died. I'm like, man, Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? So I start listening to the music. That day, I'm listening to the music. And the music, he's saying, forget the middle man. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Forget the middle man. I'm sleeping in the bed. I'm like, Fuck the little man. I'm about to do this, man. I'm about to do this, man. I'm about to do this. How the hell am I gonna get this money? You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I was like, okay. So I just started telling everybody, hey, it's coming out. It's coming out. I ain't had a clue in the world, cuz how to get it, how to do man, black round boy ammo. Yeah, it's coming out, baby. So I started hooping and hollering, hooping and hollering, hooping and hollering. So I gotta get the hype up. So I'm like, all right, damn, how the hell am I gonna do this? I know, I know a dude, he work at this, he work at his ammo company. My homie, he said, I can do it for you. I press him up right now for you. Boom, 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 boom. My cousin said, if I do it, do it right. My cousin said, if I do it, do it right. Man, this dude, man you gotta do pressure tests, water tests, all kinds. Man, I, I, I gotta trust this man. My, my stuff in his hand, man, this might blow up. I'm in trouble. You know what I'm saying? I don't know right. what he got. So I'm like, dang. All right, hit the company up. Nah, we busy, we busy. So I'm like, all right, I want range bullets. No, I want hollow points. No, I want this. I want that. I'm like, oh, man, it's crazy. So I was like, hmm, what can make my bullet different? What can make my bullet different? So I heard about these black bullets. And I was like, dang, they got black bullets? You know, like, yeah, like, man, I wish I could do that, but that's probably patent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, man, that's patent. I ain't gonna be able to do that. So, I was like, I want them, though. So, I found out who make the black bullets. And so, me and my cousin and my other homeboy, we on the phone. And so, I'm telling my cousin, look, bro, let's just hit the people up on the email or something. Hey, man, is it patent or not? They gonna tell us? They gonna say, yeah, no, or just don't answer. So, when we hit them up, the dude was like, Nah, that's just paint it. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no patent on nothing like that. So I'm like, hey, told my cousin, why we got them? They asked them if they won't make them for us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. and it's the number one, number two company that make ammo for everything. Big company, big name. I'm talking about, no, can't say nothing bad about them. You talk about me, you talk bad about them. So I'm like, oh, this would be sweet. You know what I'm saying? Ammo Incorporated, that's my people. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, this would be sweet, man. So the dude was like, yeah, it's just painting, man. So we'll do, we'll, we'll, we'll do something with you, you know what I'm saying? That it right there? And this is right let me here. see, let me see. Nah, keep going, I just wanna. So the dude was like, we'll do something with you. We'll do something with you. <clears throat> but look, we don't manufacture less than 250,000 rounds. I'm like, what? You know, like, yeah, and that's gonna cost you a blank amount of money. So I'm like, man, I ain't got that. Look, something, I gotta do something. Something gotta shake. So. I got in the head on, yeah, do it hard, it's, it's tight. Nah, yeah, I ain't want to break that bitch nah, up when I had to pay for it. It's yours anyway, cuz. Yeah, man. It's yours anyway, it's yours anyway. I feel like it's going to 
Yeah. Yeah, so the company, so I'm talking to the company, they said X amount of money, X amount of money. I'm like, dang, man, dang, that's a lot of money. So, just so happened, I had gotten a head on collision. Somebody hit me. Damn. In the workshop, head on collision. Boom. I'm waiting on 150000 lawsuit. Mm, man, everybody want me to lie and do all kind of stuff to get the money. I can't shoot the guns. I'm like, man, I got to be me. This ain't right. I don't feel right. So I was like, when the, when the bullets came up, I was like, man, I'm about to go settle. I'm about to just, whatever they about to give me, I'm going to settle. I want that money right now. It just so happened the money came right when I was talking to the people. So I settled, and I came up to the people with X amount of money. And I was like, look, I know y'all don't know me from night and day. I said, but give me a shot. I said, I'll reach a whole different demographic. I said, I could do this. They're like, well, you gonna have to sell it on your own. We ain't doing it. We gonna make it. That's it. We don't want no cut. Just pay us to make it. We don't want nothing. 100% you. We deal. You real. go. You do whatever you gotta do. So bam, put the money up. All right, cool. I ain't get my bullets for about eight months. But like my cousin say, do it right. Don't, I'm not gonna bother these people. Nothing. I'm just, the money there, I know it's good. I know it's good. This is number one company. Bullets came in, man. I sold out in like three, four weeks. 100,000 rounds. 100,000. They were like, whoa, what yeah, in the world? Yeah. So I hit them up, sent them some more money. They didn't even know the money was in the bank. They said, oh, they got money in here. I guess he wants some more. You know what I'm saying? So they go to making some more. Bam, I'm ready. Yeah, everything's great. Ooh, I'm about to fight. I'm about to do good. Best bullets, man. They hot. Hide, hide them. They black bullets. My name on the back. Coronavirus come. I'm like, man, I'm just about to get my bullets. So now, check this out. Check this shit out. This is crazy. I was already at the bottom of this. The very, very bottom. Now coronavirus come. All the big time companies that was getting bullets from these people, oh man, they spending millions now. They throwing them here. We want it, we want it, because it's hard to get. We want it, we want it. Now I'm getting crushed. Man, I'm going, man, my bullets going, wait. Wait on there. Like, oh, it ain't going to ever happen. So, what? we came back up. Oh, we came back up hard. Oh, they won't blow up. No, oh, I'm mad. Right. Number one company. <laughs> Number one company. So the people were putting all the money on top and money on top. So I'm like, damn, I got my money in. I'm just going to have to wait. I'm just going to have to wait it out, wait it out. So that's when I linked up with these people right here. See, I got my own gun lube and my own gun cleaner as well. I hooked up with another company. They top of the line. I'm talking about that stuff right there. That's called accuracy oil because it make your gun shoot better. And everybody like, accuracy oil? How you make your gun shoot better? But it uh, takes 90% of the friction out your gun. People don't know that, though. Yeah, if you ain't using that, you might, you probably gonna miss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your stuff gonna jam up, no. Oh, You know what I'm saying? So anyway, while I'm waiting on that, I got that, and I got my, my belts. So I was selling these belts, these black round bull belts. Uh -huh. And so I'm selling, I'm trying to get all that off. I'm trying to get all that off, waiting on the bullets. I'm on YouTube, I'm doing everything, trying to make money. I'm waiting on the bullets, so like a year go by, bro. And like, I'm like, man, two years, like a year and a half go by, I think. And I ain't got nothing, I'm like, damn, bro. I got a whole bunch of money in it. Then just one day, I didn't text, I ain't getting no nothing. I just woke up and like, hey, uh, your bullets be in the mall. I'm like, damn. So the bullets came in, and here we are today. I'm still selling bullets. I'm still cutting up. It's a lot more in that story, but that's like a short breakdown. You know, I ain't gonna <laughs> I don't want to sit down and sit down with me. Man, how, you, how are your bullets doing now as far as sales, though? Man, I'm selling out every store I'm in. Yeah. Quick, man. How many right stores now, they got you in? I, not there. It's me. I'm hustling every store. I'm probably in like 20, 30. But, it's back and forth because I got some stores sell out fast, some stores sell out slow, then I'm selling online, then I'm selling at gun shows, and it's so, I'm trying to you keep You're able some. to keep up with the yeah. demand? Oh yeah. Well, for a little while, because when it's gone, it takes me so long to get. Yeah. So that's the part that's killing me, and I don't want no investors or nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Damn! I know, right? I was right, I was like, I was waiting for Floyd May. He wasn't somebody to come after me, man. We can hit him hard right now, he every bullet. You gonna let Floyd get up in that bitch? But you gotta think about it, if I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta hit every bullet. I can't say, oh yeah, come help me out, let's go get two more bullets. Let's get a nine millimeter and a 45 and an AK bullet. Well, when somebody would be, I could say, give me a shot, but every round they got a whole black round bull line. I'm already popping, I'm already getting it. You know I can help you get three of them, man. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> we we <laughs> already got one with the 45. Come on, man. I can help you get the 22. Yeah, yeah, That's the one I can get money right now. That's the money right now. All the way, man. This is dope. And it, it, like I say, man, just, you know, the story is, is amazing. Yeah, I, that shit was, let me tell you the I was part. sitting there so excited. Just, nigga, we got a black man who got his own bullet. But let me tell you the crazy part. It's the crazy part. Bro, I, I hate to say this, but it's just like the game. But it's legal. You take the same hustle. I keep telling all my friends, bro. You take the same hustle that you got in the streets. And it, bro, let me see that case right there. 
I take a case, right? Case of bullet. Oh man, I got this case, man. You know what I'm saying? They're going for X amount, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Okay, I ride through the hood. I ride through the set. It's not, a, it's not, I don't have to check for background checks. I don't have to do nothing. It's just up against you, so now nah, you better be legal because you can go to jail. But I just go with a uh, receipt book. Bust it open. Hey, I got them going for what you gonna call it right here if you want these boxes right here. I give for you for this, but if you want the whole thing, I give for this right I'm just like, I'm like, wait up. What in the world I learned this from? You know what I'm saying? Tax coming there. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. it's the same exact, but it's legal. But that's why I keep telling my friend, just take that same game and find something. Find a pencil. Find a, a shirt. Just do, take the same hustle you in and just do something. Yeah. You gonna, motherfucker every you day. You're going to fail a couple every times, day. but you're going to hit something in the head. You, you know what I'm saying? If you keep doing it consistently, you're going to strike. You're going to strike. Bro, oh, man, I ain't stop. I'm trying to get a black Rambo game. I'm trying I got going man, on. Man, here you got, right here. I got my own bulletproof backpack things right here. Hold up. Plates. What's that? Oh, this bulletproof plate's going to school back. I, I done told him. Oh, I've been having this out for two years. I should have sold out, right? Right. These yeah. selling the slowest. But I had friends pass away that got shot that could have just had a school bag on with a plate on it and say they like. I shot it on my Instagram up to a 50 cal. Bro, all you do, look, it fit it in the school bag. There you go. They carry Draco in there, but they won't put a bulletproof plate. For real though. Don't get me, that's stupid. That's stupid. That's let me stupid. see, let me see what it look like. Man, that's crazy. And they can read the ballistics on the back. Everything 100. Innocent armor. I got those for sale too. At Black Rambo TV on my uh, link in my bio. On my YouTube, Black Rambo TV. Soft armor ballistic panel, that's it. Everything legit, everything 100. Every company I mess with is 100. I don't mess with, because I, I know if I put out something bad, they're going to talk about me. Bro, you can go on the internet right now. You go on the internet right now, you won't see a bad review on my bullet. You brought some of your favorites, huh? What you got? Ah, this yeah, nigga I got a monster. chainsaw gun. Yeah, yeah, shotgun. Yeah, this nigga fight zombies at night. Yeah, I, I know it. Kind of I know it. This nigga got a chainsaw gun, man. man. Got all kind of stuff, man. Nah, that, yeah, we gotta get into some of these now. This here, this, what is this? Oh, this everything is... clear if he pointing them. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, 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 yeah. I, I done went through that already, yeah, trust gonna, me. Yeah. Well, I done they, went through that process. They tripping so hard on me. I done went through that lie. process already. We did all this off camera, people, so you know, yeah. you know what I mean? That's the Smith & Wesson 500, customized by Savage Customs. You know the uh, Harley Quinn gun? Yeah. That's the person who customized that one. Wow. The same person that did that one. That's amazing, man. That's crazy, right? Look at the detail in that thing. Yeah, man. That's this a big is a monster right there. Yeah, this is this is. My 50 cal. I got a uh, battery that came in today, man. I wasn't ready, but it came in today. Oh my goodness! Now, now talk a little bit about the understanding of these, man. Because a lot of people, you hear a lot of dudes in the music, mm -hmm. rap, gun, 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 shoot them up, shoot them up, shoot them up, and don't have no real knowledge of, the, the, of what can happen from handling these. You know, these are the yeah, weapons that take guns, life. Man. So you gotta really know what you're doing. Like, see what I try to teach people. You can still be yourself, you can still have fun, but you just gotta know about the gun. So, as long as you go take you some safety classes, you know what I'm saying, and pay attention, it really is not much. Cause everybody know what guns do, you know what I'm saying? As long as you don't do no, oh yeah, we gangster, do, do, do. As long as you take some safety classes, learn how to shoot, learn how to hold it, learn about the trigger, learn about your stance. Everybody know right from wrong. I believe in that in life, you know what I'm saying? I can get my son one of these right now, he won't do nothing ever. He'll hold it, he got, he got two in his room. Don't never do loaded, ready to go. Don't never do nothing with him. So I kind of think it's on the person, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and the parent, you know what I'm saying? Right, most definitely, most definitely, man. Well, you know, that's important that you- Some people grow you... up, some people grow up. Oh yeah, got my gun, huh, huh, yeah, I'ma shoot him up, bang, bang, yeah. Yo, you know no, I, listen, where I come from, I know what these do. And yeah. what they do to people's personalities when they get their hands on one, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's just like, it, these have caused so much detriment, but I feel like it's so dope what you do because we have somebody who looks like you, come from where you come from, that has this understanding, got his own bullets, got his, and it's possible to be able to, to navigate these the right way. And we had a cool pup? I'm the only ammunition company in the world that can do this to you. What's happening with your dog? Let's get on Instagram, take a picture. Yeah, what's good? With you? I'm gonna sign up for your big dog. Boom. You, what other ammo you getting your ammo from that gonna do that for you? Nowhere. Nowhere. Get your black ass out of here. Yep. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Ain't no yeah, ammunition company ammo doing that. That's how I be buying my bullets. Let me get my black ass. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. yeah right. And I'm over there. Let me take a picture. Sign that thing. Please. These white folks see a nigga with these bullets. Bro, I done been all on Cardi B page. She done shared me twice. I've been trying to shoot with her for the longest. Yeah, you just gave Twister. Didn't Twister? Oh, oh, I, I, I got a. I got a. Bro, man, Twister got a song and a uh, video about to come out so hard. Oh, that's dope. Mm, that's dope. Oh, so this is this, this is one of my personal favorite guns. Okay, yeah, that's the one I got right here. 
Hellcat. Yeah, I love the Hellcat, Hellcat, man. It's a dope gun and, and, and it's, it's easy to shoot. Sprint it's easy to learn. It's an awesome company. You know what I mean? And, and it's just dope. You know what I mean? I'm I like to be honest the, with you. You know what took me the longest to learn on this is the uh, is the safety, the trigger safety. Yeah, Those are different. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, because usually the safety is on the gun, but this one is the trigger safety. Yeah, so it takes a long time to learn it, but this is a this is a dope weapon to be right here. With man. You. I like my Hellcat, I carry it all the time, but it's, it got a lot of pop with it. I've been looking for something with less pop, so I've been looking at the 22 TCM. Really? Yeah, that thing's something serious. Oh, okay. Man, I'm talking about, I shot that thing the other day, it blew up a water million. Nine millimeters is going through it, they ain't doing that. So, I'm wow. gonna to check it out. But, oh, man, it's, it's, it got some snap with it. But, she do the job, I keep it with me every day, you know? Springfield is the same people that make the same, huh? Yeah, oh, Springfield. Oh, you got you to show them a little lunchbox. Oh, yeah, good looking. I'm going to man. I sure forgot about this. You got to show them a little lunchbox. What you think this is? Uh, something that is... I don't fuck. Yeah, who I got, knows? I got them tongue-tied on Wait, wait, man. Is it, it, wait, hey, hold, what DC is, at? Because the nigga he gave me the wrong phone something. number in New Orleans, and we were supposed to shoot uh, and all that. Tell him I want a shooting competition now. I got the hookup. Man, I got the hookup yeah. thing, man. Give me the wrong phone number, everything. Took a picture, laughed at me and everything, man. He might have thought you was. He didn't know. I mean, come on, man. You, he might have said you break one Bro, of the you had, boys over here. You had too many. Tell him, tell him, tell him look, look. Know. Tell him I want to shoot. You know what? All y'all, come to Louisiana. Yeah, oh, real, we got it. Come to Louisiana. Down in the bayou. We're going to eat some crawfish, some alligator. We're going to shoot some guns. We're going to turn up. All the way. All right, bet. All right, bet. Now, what is it? All right, here we go. I don't know what the fuck this is. Already? Here. I think it might be a porcupine or something. That's some Call of Duty shit you got right here. Yeah, this nigga about to take the chop out. That's crazy, huh? All in the back. Goodness gracious. There you go. Spring feels sink. What the fuck? It was all of it. Like a little lunchbox. I remember that scene from Menace to Society. Yeah. Hey, y'all niggas ain't ready. Hey, 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 hey. I'm no. just about to <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you can leave that one down there somewhere, too. Hey, man, man. I mean, I, I, I'm loving this, bro. It's like, bro, they, they fly me out to go shoot hogs and out of helicopters. I shoot tanks and drive tanks. and I didn't know this was possible. You know what I'm saying? Now I see other people. What's the link? What's the uh, what, what they need to search on YouTube to pull up? All right, go on YouTube. Now check this out. You gotta type it all the way in because they be shadow banning me because exactly. of the gun. So yeah, I bet they do. Black Rambo TV. Go on Instagram. Type in at Black Rambo TV. I'm the one on the tank, holding a little tank up. You gonna see 800 some thousand followers. I should have a million or something by now. But bro, they shadow banning me, bro. I ain't doing nothing wrong. I do everything 100% legal. I'm a war veteran. We got bro, I've been the, to war. We got the backyard bullet, too. Oh, yeah, and I got the backyard bullet. Add the backyard bullet. That me and him made that page together, and we make longer videos on that. You didn't like, introduce you, buddy. I'm Big T the cameraman. Big T. Big T the cameraman. Big T the cameraman. Yeah, I'm just saying. He came out a couple of times. You know what I mean? Big T the cameraman probably know how to work all these motherfuckers, too. Oh, yeah, he know how to work them, too. All the way. That man, this is dope. Now, this is, this is, I think, is is unique. I thought, I saw this. Like the was the iPhone. type of iPhone is this? Give me the yeah. food. Show, show what that is. This <laughs> some shit from the Matrix. Two shots. Pop you see that? You push the button right here. Two buttons. Two buttons. Is that another? Is this another one here? Yeah, yeah that's another. That's a little smaller one. That's the Trailblaze Firearms. That's uh, I forgot the name of that company. Dang, it's been so long. It's Ideal Conceal. That's an ideal conceal. Ideal conceal. Oh, that's the Trailblaze Firearms. Okay. With this one right here. That is fucking bananas. Look at this one. Oh. You got the small one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. We got it all. All that. One shot. Back. One shot, baby. Get a ball, man. Yeah. When y'all coming on the bar, y'all hope y'all ready, boy. I got some stuff for you. You know This shit, man, we definitely. I don't know, man. Y'all ain't seen my videos. I got guns flying out people's hands. Don't be scared. We should nah, nah, I've seen nah. a lot see, of your see, videos. See, that's the thing about me. I love them, man. See, that's the Let thing me see. I love them. I love That's the thing about me. Man. I shoot different, man. We, the I like to show everybody, bro. You could, everybody in the, in the gun industry is so tight, man. You got to be tactical. You got to do this. But I'm, I'm real. I've been to war. You can't tell. I've been to war. Front line in the Marine 2nd Tank Battalion. So I'm like, if somebody running here right now, Shit. Is we tactical? I'm saying, are we tactical? Do they you have change, on the best? They running here, man. God do, do, damn, this is the wrong building, bro. <laughs> I done fucked around my back, y'all, man. Y'all good, my fault, man. I got a pee. But I'm saying, you, you ain't got no vest on. You ain't got no boots, no, no nothing. Uh, so why is you training like that? Right. Like, the same thing, Chris. Why you think you're in the military? 
Attack the car, say shoot like yeah, I eat it though. Uh, train like your fight. Yeah, train like your fight. My dog talked to the car, say that. that Fucked up, part. a lot of niggas can't fight. Y'all want some pizza? Big, big T, I know you want some pizzas or something. Yeah, you know you want some pizza. I'm gonna get one there. Nah, you don't want to eat it on camera, man. I just want to say, we a train. Train like your fight. Okay, I'm not gonna say, what are you about to eat this pizza? Don't do it, pizza. Pizza on camera, nigga. No, Black Rambo, I'm definitely gonna need some of this. Yeah, check this out. The matter with you, that's for you. My man. That's for you, that's for you. Hold up, one of these. Nah, I'm actually, I'm actually, you know, we gonna do that off camera, but I'm gonna actually get you to, you know, do something. Yeah, we got it, we got some. We got some off-camera conversation. We yeah, shit man. we got to have. I guess this for DC. If you don't get in the wrong form. Oh, no. He, he ain't mean to do it. He just thought you <laughs> were going to break I got some wrong form, too. Now, this, you said, is the most expensive one On that the table right here, yeah. That's a, what is this? That's a uh, Beretta 24 karat gold. Hold on. That's 24 karat yeah, gold? Go play it. Get back in the magazine right here. Yeah, I know. I took it out. Uh -huh. Yeah, I made sure I took it out. That's just, whoa. Yeah, that's sweet right there. You show up with one of these, man. You get, boy. That thing. That's some James Bond shit. Yeah, but exactly. see, the thing about the gold, the gold, the gold fade after you shoot it for a while. See down there? Look on mine. Look right here. See that gold? Oh, okay. That's the only thing I don't like about that gold plate. And if you keep wearing it in the holster, it fades for a while. That's a bad boy. That's a bad motherfucker. That one with the chainsaw, that's the bad, that, that's the person uh, that did this one. Savage Customs, the Holy Quinn, mm. they did the chainsaw one too. If you look at it, they got all kind of details in there and all kind of stuff. Man, this is dope, crazy. man. This nigga go crazy, man. All the way, man. This is beautiful. All Black the Rambo, stuff. you won the lottery, nigga? Yeah, I won the lottery. How? how? Tell, tell me that story. Boy, you want to hear this? See, I got yeah, stories yeah. today. You just got to remind me on some of these, bro. Check this out. Check this out. I'm, I'm going to eat because I ain't ate since Barack man, Obama was in man, office, man. Man. Man, we, man, we in the trap, man. Come on, now. Man, let's go check this out. I'm talking to this little chick. Man, blah, 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 blah. I'm leaving in the morning. I'm tired. Going to work with my daddy. Got this old white man named Bubba. Bro, I put this on my lap. It's a true story. White man named Bubba. He the one got me scratching the tickets. I get there. <laughs> I get there, right? So Bubba like, I said, you got your tickets today, Bubba? He's like, yeah, man, I lost, man. I bought four of them. I said, how many they got left? He said, they got about four left. I said, oh, I'm going to get these four. Bam, I buy the four tickets. Mm -hmm. Scratch the first three, lose all three. I'm like, damn. So I scratch the next one. On the third line, I hit a 14. So I look at Bubba. I said, look, Bubba, this ain't nothing but a free ticket. We play this all the time. I said, give me my $20 back, and I'll give you the ticket right now. Wait, you about to give it away? Yeah. See, you ain't even talking about it. I scratched the number 14. Yeah, yeah. And the 14, yeah. I looked at Bubba. I said, Bubba, I said, look, man, this ain't number the free ticket. Give me my $20. I paid for all 40 tickets, and I'm going to give you this ticket. You can scratch yeah. and see what it is right now. Bubba said, oh, no, I ain't about to do that. I said, all right, Bubba, let's see. Man. Scratch the ticket. Ah! Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. 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 $100,000. Man, Bubba said, let me see. Looking at Bubba like this. I don't know, Bubba. Hold up. Oh, Bubba said, let me see. But I'm thinking, Bubba, oh, we can't run. I'll catch Bubba before he get to the door. So I get the Bubba. Man, Bubba put them glasses on. <laughs> Bro, Bubba did like this. <laughs> and they put the bandages on and walked out the bandages and everybody crying. I was like, boy, I was like, oh, Jesus Christ, I'm about to get into a new ticket, man. For $20. I don't know what I'd have done, bro. You'd have been crying. No, I don't know if I'd have been crying, man. I don't think I'd be black around, boo, though. Yeah, I don't know yeah. how they got in trouble, boy. I don't know. Look, yeah. bro, we're about to split this or something. We're about to work a deal. Hey, like, hey, I need my something. Back. Yeah, like, I, I was playing. <laughs> You know, you ain't giving me no money. This, this nigga, nigga won the damn. fucking. Wait a minute, this nigga won, won a lot of money. Hundred thousand dollars off of twenty dollars. Last ticket. In the off car. of twenty dollars, man. Last in the car. I ain't even take that money. I, I bought me a house, man. Some furniture. I was in the hood. I was like, man, that's good. I ain't got no proof of income. So you won the lottery and stayed in the hood? No, I got the hell out of here. Oh, I was about to say. They bought me a house and I've been in there ever since. Got that goddamn, what? this town ain't big enough for the both of us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the bad and the ugly. <laughs> That's the one your grandma come out with. <laughs> Single shot. That's the one they shoot like this. Man, this is dope, man. Will Salute you to you, Put brother. the John Wayne down. I had to, man. Bro, man, it's crazy, though, man, because all these gun shows I go to, they just have more and more stuff. It's like they never stop. And they got other people that do what I do that don't even hook up with me, don't even want hook up with me. Don't worry about them. I, 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 I don't care about them. I love well, you them. know that's the scariest shit in the world, a nigga with a gun. Nah, but you know what? They look at it because I'm different. I'm gonna take their followers. You see what I'm saying? So they like, they was cool, but man, this dude come in here. Ah, he shooting some 50 cows with one hand, and hitting targets and clowning, blowing up watermelons all over his face and stuff. 
Now he coming over here because he gonna take all my followers and all my YouTube money and stuff like that. Bro, I, I don't know what happened. I was on National Geographic. They supposed to put me in the magazine, but they did a book. And the book like spread and my YouTube like blew up for like a week. Guess what they did? They demonetized it. Nigga, we got two million followers, nigga. Yeah. We can fuck that. We get yeah, that shit back. Get that shit on here. When they that's see that. this shit, that's the, they I'm gonna know already know. When they see this, that, God damn it. And then, and then who, who say legal guns ain't cool? Man, they, my, I'm in the hood, legal man. Legal guns are gun. oh, the coolest. Bro, you know how many friends I say I had with illegal guns for no reason? I don't know them people. No. I bet you do. I bet you know. I bet you got a friend that ain't got arrested. They got a gun. You know what I, mean? I ain't friends with them niggas no more. Oh no, I'm not no more. No. <laughs> well, you I said to we got two day. million pop. True, 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 true. true. <laughs> I guess you're right. This is dope, but man. Just hey, I do. I'm a way, comedian. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Mm, I know. Man, I got silences coming in, all kind of stuff. Oh man, wait, wait, drop wait, the information wait, one man, more yeah. time. Fuck all you. At Black Rambo TV on Instagram. Black Rambo TV on YouTube, The Backyard Bullet on YouTube. That's right, goddammit. And when we get back on tour, guess who working security, bitch? I need. Mean, I, I, I help. Exactly. I help, though. I'll bring this. I'll bring that. He bring the guns. I bring the guns. You goddamn right. Well, man, I'm telling y'all, should come out, bro. Come oh, we come. Out. I'm coming, definitely. Hey, we do it all. All right, the way, man. Let them know some of the hey. boss stories you had. Yeah. You don't even know. This nigga related to you. You related to me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is yeah. how we greet each other when we come to each other's house. Oh, yeah, I need to come to your house. Oh, yeah, you yeah. definitely. When yeah. you come to my house? Oh, I can imagine. I got it. Yeah, you, you've it. inspired me now. I'm like, I don't have enough. Bro, I just hope, I I just hope you got a fucking musket in your no collection. Shit. I want a musket. Yeah. You got to get a musket, man. Oh, oh, bro, I got bulletproof shit. helmets and shit, but I don't have a musket. You got to get a musket, I want bro. one so bad, dog, with the big old horn. With the grim rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got stuff in it everywhere. Yeah, one of them, yeah, man. man. This, so is, this is dope to me, man. I love it because it's legal, it's done the right way, and it's an example that we as black men can legally own firearms in this country. Yep. If you can, man, I tell everybody, if you're not a felon, man, go do it the right way, man, because yeah, it, it ain't worth it. And sometimes the, the they got ways, even if you're a felon, you can expunge your stuff, man, to get clear. You just got to go talk to the right people. Man, do the right thing, man. You know what I'm saying? It really makes dope. sense to do the right thing, bro. All the way. You got to protect your family, you know what I'm saying? You said the war stories, you got to get one. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, yeah, he got some cool see? ones. Which one? It Which got one the one, it? I, I think you should do two, because it got right. the one with, 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 with you was in Japan, and you said you was, uh, <laughs> you and the dudes was fight was about to fight the other uh, people, and then it got the one where you was talking about you forgot the, you, you took your uh, gas mask. All right, I'm in Iraq, right? So, in oh, Iraq, shit. it's pitch black. Okay, and one thing about Iraq, at nighttime, it's pitch black. Oh, we, done been, we ain't been to Iraq, we went to Kuwait. All right, we all right, all right. I've been yeah. to Kuwait too. Yeah. All right. Yo, dark as a bitch. It's pitch black at nighttime, all right? Hell yeah. yeah. So, we, we used to use little red lights. You couldn't use the white lights. So I'm walking around with the red light, we had to do my little security thing. I'm walking around at nighttime, I'm tired as hell. I'm like, man, I don't feel like doing this. Man, I don't go home, this and this, this and this. So bam, my little time over with, I go get the next dude. I go get the next dude, I take my little mask. This, man, you know, Saddam was gonna gas us, so we got gas, man, man, three months. Three months, bro, I ain't take my clothes off, I ain't take a bath, I ain't do nothing, cause we had mob gear on and everything, cause they think we gonna get gas. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, I'm about to take this damn mask, to the, put it to the side. So I took the little thing off, and just put it, man, I swear to God, I just put it right here. And then I sat down. I said, oh, I'm about to go to sleep. So boy, I lay down, man. So I hit a little dude, but after you get on the walk, or the patrol, you gotta watch, work the radio. And my code name was Gold Tooth. So I hear him on the thing, Gold Tooth, Gold Tooth, we are lost. I repeat, we are lost. And I said, man, what the fuck? We just going around in the square? I said, look, follow the right light. I'm gonna flash the light one time. I'm gonna go white. I went the white light. I said, I'm gonna flash it one time. Chicka, chicka. I did two times like that. Chicka, chicka. Ooh, all you hear is a rocket come through. Boom, boy, everybody go, gas, gas, gas. Oh, shit, I can't find my gas mask at all. You know, the gas mask right there now, but it only take, you got like a split second to put the mask on. Man, I'm looking at my homeboy, I said, look, bro. <laughs> Tell my mama, I, said, look, I bro. love him. <laughs> I can't find it, bro, it's gone. Then they be like, oh, clear. But uh, everything got the mask right here. That's right there, but I freaked out because I couldn't find it. But bro, that was the craziest stuff in my life. On my birthday, I got shot at. On my birthday, I'm on the building. They got a dude named Wu. He'll never forget it. Wu on one end, I'm on the other end. Wu over there, and he used to call me Gold Tooth. So Wu looking, I'm looking. I just hear, pew, pew. Wu on the ground. Wu shaking. I'm like, what the fuck? Did he get shot at? Was there somebody shooting? Because I'm, I'm 18, 19 years old. So I go over there by Wu. I say, you all right, Wu? 
I mean, you move like this. I'm like, all right. Run over there. I look, I look, I look up. I look up like this. I said, I get the binos. I grab the binos. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Lord! Ruth, hold on, why are you telling me they were shooting, Ruth? Ruth, why are you gonna tell me? Tag it, So like. I crawled to the, I crawled to the little microphone. I'm like, I'm horse four, I'm horse four. This is gold, too. We got inaccurate snipers around two o'clock. And so, Tones and Scott was just going over there. Bro, two people shooting at us with an AK. Just, just shooting at us. Dang, you said call them niggas inaccurate snipers. Yeah, they ain't with niggas. Cause all of you are here. Accurate dead. ones, yeah. I was dead, cause, yeah. bro, I felt the ginger, bro. All my soul just blew down my ass. <laughs> <laughs> I shit, I shit, and then I had to suck it back in, you know what I'm saying? to the... I ain't know, I ain't know, what the boy, boy scary, boy. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell you, oh, man. no, I wouldn't. We man, went over there. Scary, we man. was over there. We seen yeah, how it go, man. Man, I pissed on myself in war. Man, dude, flashed the red light, I was asleep. And just flashed the red light, I'm, and I jumped up because I thought we were hit from the bomb. Boy, I pissed myself in everything, bro. I thought I was dead. Yeah. Just from a nigga flashing the red light in my eye. I, I got scared, bro. I ain't sleep, bro. We slept on side dead bodies. All that, bro. I was a dog. My job in war, I was a gangster. No lie. I believe No, you. no, bro. Dog, I had the coldest job in war. Check what I did. I ain't know nobody. I'm fresh from Japan. I was in Japan. I get to the war. I'm like, damn, I don't know none of these dudes. Like, we gonna put you on a security truck. So I'm like, fuck, security truck? I don't do no damn security. Man, next thing you know, I got a truck full of reserves. Oh, we got sandbags all over the trucks. We stand on sand, sandbags to the window. We got a 50 cal on the top. I said, what the fuck going on here? Everybody else got regular ass trucks and just driving. I said, yeah, you the security. So the way war is, okay, you got one convoy right here, one convoy right here, one convoy, and then it got the tanks. So this convoy supplied from home to them. Them supply to them, them supply to them. Well, I was in the fucking convoy right by the tanks. So I'm like, damn, all right. What the hell are they gonna have me doing? You know what I'm saying? I'm a security truck. I don't know. I'm thinking. So I secured the whole convoy. So while everybody driving, I'm on side. They got to they got turn right. They get on the go to, go to, go, we going right. I go on that block, left. boom, running cars. Everybody get out with guns. Give a slide, give a slide, don't move. Kev, 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 give a slide, give a slide, Kev, 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 give a slide. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We'll crack the little glow sticks, crack the little glow sticks, and we'll do like this. <laughs> Chomp the glow sticks in the air. And they, they never seen nothing like that before. Man, they go to fighting over the glow sticks. We get, get them, we get them back in the car, we take the car yeah. And that man, it was crazy, bro. I'm up and down. I go to my homeboy. Hey, man, what you doing, man? Chill out, I'm holler at you. Go to the next one. Hey, girl, what's I'm looking on the side of the car. Went, oh, what's happening, girl? Oh, we can't look? Oh, we can't look? Oh, you been looking at the woman? Oh, 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 oh. You were crazy. Bro, this nigga. Yeah, it was crazy. Dog, I post traumatic stress. You change your name to Side Check Show. Check this out. Bob. Check this out. Check this out. No, check this out. Uh, they said I went to war. They, created, they gave me post traumatic stress. And I didn't believe them at first. I was like, man, I'm fine. What you talking about? Like, post traumatic what? But they say I went to war and got a rush. And now I do stuff and search for that rush, and I can't never get that same rush. Chasing the dragon. Yeah. So like, okay, oh, I'm shooting gun, ha, 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 boom, I'm bored. All right, I want to do this, ha, I'm bored. I want to do this, I'm bored, I'm bored. I keep going, I keep going to say that's post-traumatic stress in a way, but I guess it's a good way, because I'm making money. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. It don't never calm down. Yeah. Hell yeah. Keep going. This is the most interesting nigga in the in world. In the world, man. Oh, man. All the way, man. Bro, I had y'all up here for this, about an hour. This is the black market for real, man. Y'all make y'all sure, sure? y'all support. No, nah, fuck that. One more war story, man. One more war story. One more. Where y'all about to fight? One more. And then you, went to, and then you had to fight the dude. I know. I got to go to war one. I got a better war one, dog. I got a better war one. Tell you. One more. Right. Fuck tanks. They got sandstorms in Iraq. Right. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Big yeah. sand. I'm talking about sandstorms. You get out. You can put your hand right here, and you can't see your hand. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 all right, you know what I'm telling you? It go from regular day to like the motherfucking Great. abyss. All right, so yeah. man, they had a sandstorm. We had to pull over. We in the convoy. We pull over. Biggest shit. Big sand. Man, we lost two tanks in the sand. They went in some water, so lost them in the sandstorm. So we like, all right, we pulling over. So man, we pull over. Sandstorm, good. Man, now in Iraq, a lot of people don't know it got green, like like trees and all kind of stuff. They got that shit. So I had to take a shit. So I'm like. Damn, <laughs> I'm just being honest, <laughs> I'm like, so I had a, I forgot the little Mexican dude, the Puerto Rican dude's name, but it was my homie. And I was like, I said, hey man, one deal, I think his name was, one of them, something like that. But I was like, look, come walk with me, take a shit. Let go in the trees over there, take a shit. So he was like, all right. Whoa, you gotta take a shit as a unit. Yeah, you don't wanna go by yourself, cuz. So check this out, check this out, check this out. So, and, and when I went to take the shit, it had like a little pathway. 
and it had some trees and it had some bushes and stuff. So, but the dude saved my life. I was like, hey, bro, look, I'm a shit. I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna dig my little hole. Cause everywhere you go, you gotta dig a hole to take a shit. I'm gonna dig my little hole, and I'm a shit right here. I got another story you want here too, bad that. Take a shit. I'm taking a shit in the hole. Boom. No, no, I'm about to take a shit in the hole. He said, no. Hey, let's go in the bushes. So if they come, they can't see us. I said, you know what? You're right. <laughs> said, let me get in. The, let me get in the bushes. So we in the bushes. We taking the shit. We talking just like me. I'm sitting on the sofa. Bro, I shit you not, bro. It had like five people with AKs coming with like walking. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, oh man, there's some more come walking through. You can see, we can see him up there. Now I'm, you I'm, really shitting. I'm like, I'm like, oh, shit, boy. I look at him. I look at him. I said, what you want to do? I said, look, we got two guns and they got like 20. Let's hurry up and go back to the other, uh, where our people at. So, boy, I said, on three. You ready? I ain't think about wiping my ass. I ain't think about nothing. I said, one, two, three. Pull the pants up, but my pants was falling down, his pants falling down, we took off running, mm. through the thing. Man, right when we got out the, uh, the bushes, they got Marine. Enemy in sight, 200 meters. And he's like, no, bitch, they're right now, they're right now, they're right now. <laughs> then the next thing you know, da 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 so we were like, all right, we just gonna chill. But see, I was with that damn security truck. I used to get pissed off, cause we'll stop 20 times in a day. And everywhere we stop, you gotta dig a hole up the hill. I'm like, oh man, this is ridiculous. This is getting too much, man. So I used to tell the people, look, I'm the driver, bro. Look, 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 man. Y'all don't want me to fall asleep. Y'all, I'm, I'm 130 pounds. Dig a little bit this much, and I'm gonna slide in there in the hole. You know what I'm saying? Just dig me this much in there, I'm gonna get in there. I promise you, I'm getting in there. So we went back to the truck, playing space. And they did it for me. They dig me a little bit. We went back in the playing space. Pow, pow. Man, let's just say down the street, about three to four blocks, something just blow up. Boom! Everybody looking like, what the hell is that? And so we call it in, what's going on, what's going on? They're like, don't worry about that, that's EOD blowing up Iraqi missiles. EOD is like the explosives people. Yeah. They're like, don't worry about that, that's EOD blowing up Iraqi missiles. Bro, I shit you long ass. As soon as we hung up that mic, boom, 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 boom! Man, I jump out the truck, I froze for a second. I'm like, what the fuck? So I jumped out the truck, I jumped in the hole, bro. I was in the hole about this high. And, and I could just see Bomb, shrapnel, the orange stuff just shoot, shoot. And I'm just praying, Lord, please, 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 don't let it hit this hole. Please don't let it hit this hole. Please don't let it hit this hole. No, I didn't know. That's all I could do. I couldn't shoot back. I couldn't do nothing. All I could do is pray. Please, Lord, don't let it hit this hole. Don't let it hit this hole. And it got this thing called a Patriot missile. So what the Patriot missile do, it find out, it's like this. And it find out where the, uh, you're getting shot at from, and it shoot back at them. So you just gotta wait it out. And so, man, when I came up, bro, that dude, leg blown off, shit blown up. And, shit, and all you can do is sit in that hole and pray that it don't hit that hole. And you can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. I know what I would've did. Shit. Yeah, you gonna shit. You gonna shit a couple shit. times. You already funky out there. You ain't taking no bounds. <laughs> no, I'm talking about, like, like, the. I ain't, I, I went home, right, I went here and some real shit. I had a friend. I was in Japan. So everybody went home in like October. And so they said, they, they put us in a group. And they were like, hey, who got this? Who got one, no kid, one kid? Who got this? And they just started pulling people back. And so it ended up with like eight people. And it's my friend Sam Watts to this day. He was the only black dude in the group. And he was like, man, you should see that nigga face, boy. He was like, oh my God. Cause all them people gotta stay. We all were going home. So I'm looking like, man, shit, that's my dog, you know what I'm saying? That's my homie. So I just, I just, I just suck it up and just run out there and just grab the first white dude. I see, hey, look, come on, you can go home. And I stayed there with the dude the rest of the way for like another four, five months. Still in war. Man, you a hell of a that's nigga. That's real shit, man. A lot of men that do it to this day still That's friends, why bro. you hit the goddamn lottery, yeah. nigga. You done told them stories. You deserve yeah. that hundred thousand. Boy, I ain't want yeah. to do it now, yeah. boy. Yeah. We, 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 yeah. I know, but still. I you met him. Got that I, shit all on yourself, been in a hole, yeah. and goddamn, right. nigga, you deserve that ticket yeah. in a couple yeah. more. We're doing this shit every day. Every yeah. day, my nigga. Hey, make sure y'all, hey. Play Rambo, man. And don't Rambo. forget this. Look, see, y'all sleeping on this. A lot of people. Don't clean their guns, bro. They jam up. And it's not that hard. I got instructions on the bottle. I make it that easy for you. Look, directions, instructions. Oh, I'm about to get you to show me. Yeah, how to, make yeah. sure you check this out because you need to clean your guns, man. I see a lot of people ask me for help. It ain't that hard, bro. It ain't hard at all. How you break your gun down? How you clean your gun? I got the instructions on there. Check it out. The link is in my bio on Instagram. It ain't that hard. I'm telling you. And then I got I got the uh, glass cleaner coming out. 
I got all kind of other stuff coming out, but me and this company linked up, and they got some badass stuff. They work for big cranes, and they do all kind of stuff. But when I link up with somebody, they act like it be some bullshit. Oh, no, nah, fuck it, man. 85% is gonna fuck with you, man. Welcome to the trap. Black market, black rumble, black rumble. I'm in this bitch, man. Damn. What my photographer at?